Welcome back to Living Local. Front Street Brewery, Iowa's original brew pub, is a staple in downtown Davenport. For more than 30 years, they've offered not only original brews, great original brews, but great food too. Their popularity led them to open a second location at the Freight House. And joining us today to tell us a little bit more about some of the great brews they offer is Brandon Mavis with Front Street Brewery and Katrina Cuning from Visit Quad City. Sorry about that, Katrina. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. This segment is sponsored by Visit Quad Cities. Welcome to the show. Great to have you both back here. Thank you. Um, give us some background, Brandon, on Front Street Brewery and, and what makes your establishment so unique. So here in the Quad Cities, it's currently the longest running brewery. So started in 1992 and it's been continuously operating ever since. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a staple. I mean, when people talk about Front Street Brewery, we know it's downtown. We know you're gonna offer some great brews, right? And yep. you also have some summer specials going on too, right? Yeah, so at both locations, we offer beer specials at our taproom location and, and beer and food specials down at the restaurant location, which is the original. Yeah, and great food. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. food. Yes, That's, it's, absolutely. <laughs> a lot so of people, people don't So people love sitting out that. on the patio. We have two outdoor options for, for outdoor seating on, on nice days. And uh, every week on, on Thursdays, we start a new special. So right now we have an awesome uh, steak sandwich. It's really good. I had it yesterday. Awesome. And then uh, this coming Thursday, we'll offer a new special. Uh, and then we kind of rotate that yeah. as well. As well as uh, we just, about two months ago, we relaunched our menu. So we yeah. have some new burgers on there, new tacos, other new sandwiches, things like that. That's awesome. That's awesome. You moved to the second location at the Freight House. Why, why did you decide to do that? Because of the popularity of your first establishment? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the original owners had, you know, a lot of success at the first yeah. location. Uh, it was just really small. Uh, okay. The brewing happened down in the basement, which wasn't ideal uh, when the river floods. Not a, <laughs> no, not a good no. spot to be. Um, but just space limitations, things like that. You know, the bar was small. So they had, uh, had an opportunity to move down to the uh, tap room uh, at the freight house, which is currently where we're at. And it gave them, you know, a dedicated tap room. So people that necessarily didn't want food, but just wanted to meet up with friends, go and be social, hang out. That kind of came the spot downtown to go yeah. grab, a, grab a craft beer. Yeah, and what can people expect at the Freight House? What is so different compared to your original location? Um, I mean, you have the patio, yeah, right? The pat I mean, so again, patios are both locations, but the patio at the Freight House definitely is one of a kind in the Quad City. You have a great view. You can see the ballpark, you can yeah. see the Centennial Bridge, you have LeClaire Park right there in front with the band shell, and you got great uh, views of the river. So yeah. we like to we like to say craft brews and river views. It's kind of our slogan I like that. down there. I like that. So <laughs> it's it's a great spot. Um, obviously, we have you know the beer specials going on there down there multiple days a week. Uh, the farmers market during the summer is huge for us on Saturdays oh, and Sundays. Yeah. We love that. We actually get to serve beer uh, from our from our trailer down in the parking lot at the freight house or at the farmers market. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's it's a great location to be. It's right there on River Drive as well. Both locations are just about four or five blocks away from each other. Yeah, and, and another reason why I think a lot of folks like to be down there at the Freight House, uh, you guys, they, they can bring their four-legged friends with them. Yeah. Because you have that open patio, and so you're, you're saying, hey, bring bring yep. your dog, bring bring whatever animal, right? Yeah, and, we see a lot of it, you know, whether it's people out, you know, walking or riding on the bike path, they'll have their dog with them, or people just coming down to, to hang out with their dogs. Uh, more than welcome to hang out on the patio. Uh, if you don't have a water bowl, ask our staff. We have multiple water oh. bowls in the tap room, so they'll fill that up for you so they have some water. Every now and then we have some treats, so ask them about that too, and maybe they'll get something special. You're really catering to, you, you got the whole, you got everyone. You're talking the animals, the folks, two different locations. And, and you guys also like to support the military as well. Talk about why that's so important for yeah. you. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of respect to everyone that's been in, in the armed, armed services. And uh, we offer a 10% discount at the pub and eatery location off food. So they can come in every day of the week and get 10% off uh, you know, anything that we have on the menu. Um, we organize uh, a couple events throughout the year that go to two local uh, veteran run groups and current uh, uh, or former military people that, that serve it. So yeah. Getting Heroes Home being one of the organizations and then the Honor Flight of the Quad Cities. So we give money to both of them throughout the year. That's great, that's great. Um, and both locations are on the Ale Trail. So for people who might not be familiar with this, tell us what this is again and, and, and how people can kind of take advantage of this. Yeah, for sure. The Quad City Ale Trail is a bundle of all of our breweries in the Quad Cities. It's a self-guided craft brew tour. Um, just to get people out exploring, you know, whether you live here, whether you're a visitor, um, you know, we love we love having places like Front Street on the Ale Trail because it's the quintessential story of the 
Quad Cities and a you know as a business, they're resilient, they are community focused, and they're fun. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And and why should people join the Ale Trail? I mean, are, are we looking? Are, can people get prizes? Are there coupons? Great. Yes. Okay. So the Quad City <laughs> Ale Trail. Yes. There. Here's our pint glass. If you visit all of the QC Ale Trail locations, there's. 16 on our trail, um, so you get this pint glass. If you visit four, come see us. We will gladly hand over a bottle opener to you. So really fun um, prizes along the way. But the best part is just getting out, exploring your own community, talking to you know people like Brandon and the people who own and run and work in these yeah. breweries because there are just so many fabulous stories to be told. Yeah, for sure. And and what a great tool too for those who might be out of town, right? Yes. Yeah. Great way to kind of get familiarized. Um, we help you along the way, you know, sign up for the Ale Trail. Um, you can see all of the locations and make your way through at your leisure. Yeah, for sure. Well, like I said, what a great tool. Brandon, thank you so much for coming in. Katrina, Absolutely. thank you thank as you. well. And again, this segment was sponsored by Visit Quad Cities. For more information, you can go to qcaletrail.com. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.